beautiful souls. Hello, hello. Well, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what's been going on with me. So I had a reading with my girlfriend, Kathy. And I don't get a lot of readings done, but she's been doing everybody else we've been working on. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I've never really had you look like deep. I mean, she's looked to see if I was, uh, you know, if I had cords or, you know, got whacked energetically or not. But anyway, so long story short, what's been coming up for me is how my basic foundation of beliefs hmm, surrounding who I've always been, you know, started in childhood. And probably over the last two or three months, I was remembering about being a child and being afraid that there were um, alligators underneath my bed. You know, afraid of the closet. You, you guys get it, right? All these things that kids are afraid of. I always thought it was weird. Well, because I live in Washington, so there are no alligators. But I was insistent that they were alligators under my bed. So much so that to get out of my bed to go to the bathroom, I would get on top of my bed and jump to the door. I know. Probably, you know, my parents told me it was my, you know, I had a vivid imagination, but that none of it was real. That was one thing. The other thing, there was... Something about my closet. I had to be it had to be closed at night. Something else. You know, I had a lot of ear infections. And so I remember believing that there were uh these giants. I could hear them. I could hear them coming. So, anyway, with this reading, everything was validated. So, there weren't actual alligators underneath my bed. <clears throat> but I was visited repeatedly by reptilians at nighttime. benevolent ones, but still. And evidently, the giants um, came to keep an eye on me in my window. And there was something in my closet <clears throat> that was there to make me afraid. To strike this, you know, such fear within me that... really stayed with me that beer I mean I'm not afraid of the dark anymore but once you get that afraid and then you are told that it's all in your mind it messes with you big time a little bit of that a little bit of you know several times in my childhood where I was crying and afraid and Everybody was just walking right by me. Nobody saw me. And I'm not kidding. So I've been working through that. I've been... It's a trip. I've been holding my little self. I'm being like, I'm here. It's real. You know, the people that are surrounding us don't understand because they can't see. They can't perceive what is not like right in front of them. But that there's so much more 
than what is in this 3D physical realm. So I'm having to I'm having to kind of rework that whole thing because I believed, you know, from then and maybe a little bit further earlier that I was, you know, had a vivid imagination. So that is like the things that I believe are real that are happening are actually not. And for somebody like me, who is a conduit where I get knowings of things, just I know I don't necessarily see it, but I just know that insidiousness of being told that it's not real. Man, that messed with me for years. So I'm meeting my own self there. And I'm being like, hey, I got you. This is so real. I'm so sorry that you weren't believed. So this is taking a little while to shake through. That's what I'm doing. Seems about perfect because we come up to a full moon. Woo-hee! Lots of energy. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. I'm wondering if things like that might be coming out for you. Right? It's not even... It's just I totally believe something that was not real. Because they told me. Because I trusted them. And they didn't do it on purpose. They didn't know. They really thought I was not seeing anything and that I was not perceiving anything. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. So, I'm just taking some time and going within and and working on... on <clears throat> my foundation of realizing that I shut it all down because I thought I was extra creative and imagine and full of imagination anyway love you guys bye